If I told you that the secret to stronger bones may be hiding in your gut, would you believe me? Well, today I'm going to share breakthrough research that's changing everything I know and most people know about bone health that has nothing to do with just taking more calcium. That I knew, but this is interesting. I'm Margaret Martin, and if you're dealing with osteoporosis or osteopenia, this video could be a game changer for you. We're going to explore the fascinating connection between your gut microbiome and your bone density, and I'll give you practical science-based strategies that you can start using today. So grab a cup of your favorite tea, get comfortable, and let's dive into the exciting world of the gut bone health. Let me start with something that might surprise you. Recent research has discovered that scientists, what they call the gut bone axis, is a direct communication pathway between the bacteria in your digestive system and your bones. And here's how it works. Your gut microbiome, that's the trillion of beneficial bacteria living in your intestines, plays a crucial role in bone health. First, it helps you absorb essential minerals like calcium, magnesium, and so many others. Second, it produces compounds called short-chain fatty acids that actually signal your bones to rebuild themselves. So cool. And third, it regulates inf inflammation throughout your body, reducing it, including your bones. When your gut health is compromised, this entire system breaks down, sadly, leading to accelerated bone loss. But what about when your gut works in your favor? Now, I know this sounds maybe too good to be true, so let's share some compelling research with you. A groundbreaking study published in Food Science and Human Wellness followed postmenopausal women with osteoporosis and found something quite remarkable. Women with healthier, more diverse gut microbiomes had significantly better bone density. Specifically, they had higher levels of beneficial bacteria types of bacteria called Lachnospirosia and Oxylospirosia. Here's the real exciting part, because you'll never remember the names of those bacteria. You've all heard about the importance of prunes. Another study showed that when postmenopausal women consumed prunes daily for 12 months, those who responded best to the treatment had distinct gut microbiome patterns. The responders, women who actually improved their bone density, had more diverse gut bacteria and lower levels of inflammatory markers. So this tells us having the right gut bacteria might actually determine whether bone building interventions work for you. I often wondered why I would have women doing the same thing but responding so differently. So what does this mean for you personally? Well, if you've been told you have osteoporosis or osteopenia, You've probably been focused on calcium supplements, on weight-bearing exercise, and those are still really important. But we now know that without a healthy gut microbiome, you might not be absorbing that calcium effectively, and your bones might not be responding optimally to all your efforts. So think of your gut bacteria as the construction crew for your bones. You can deliver all the building materials you want, your calcium, your vitamin D, your magnesium, your K2, but if your construction crew isn't functioning well, the building project is going to suffer. The research shows that women with diverse healthy gut microbiomes produce more short-chain fatty acids, which literally tell your bone building cells, the osteoblasts, to get to work. They have also have better, better gut barrier function, which reduces the systemic inflammation that can break down bone tissue. Now, let's get to the practical part. What can you actually do to optimize your gut health for stronger bones? I'm gonna give you a few strategies. The first one is to focus on fiber diversity. The research consistently shows that bacterial diversity is key. This means eating a wide variety of plant foods, and I recommend aiming for 30 different plant foods per week. That's including fruits, 
vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, and herbs. Just make a list for one week to see if you're achieving this because each plant food feeds different beneficial bacteria and see if you can just increase that count next week. Strategy two, include specific bone supporting foods. The prune study I mentioned earlier showed remarkable results. Women who ate 50 to 100 grams, that's about five to 10 prunes a day, saw significant bone density improvements. And prunes we know are rich in phenolytic compounds that feeds beneficial bacteria and have anti-inflammatory effects. What other gut-friendly foods that support bone health? Mm, fermented dairy, like kefir and yogurt. Fermented vegetables, sauerkraut, kimchi, um, two examples. And prebiotic foods, that things like garlic, onions, Jerusalem artichokes, and lastly, polyphenol-rich foods like berries, green tea, and dark leafy greens. All great for your bones. So keep track of the gut-friendly bone-supporting foods that you're ingesting and see if you can just add an extra one every week. Third strategy, support your gut barrier. Many of you might have heard of a leaky gut. A leaky gut allows inflammatory compounds to enter your bloodstream and promote bone breakdown. To strengthen your gut barrier, include omega-3 rich foods like fatty fish, walnuts, and flax seeds. Eat collagen supporting foods like bone broth and consider zinc rich foods like pumpkin seeds and oysters. Lastly, include glutamine rich foods such as bone broth and cabbage. Fourth strategy is to minimize your gut disruptors. Lots of things can harm the beneficial bacteria. So one of the easiest things to limit is processed foods and added sugars. Be cautious with unnecessary antibiotics. Manage your stress through med meditation, gentle exercise, or other relaxation techniques. And ensure adequate sleep because poor sleep disrupts your gut bacteria. Your fifth strategy is to consider targeted supplementation. While foods should be your very first approach, some supplements show promise, a high quality multi-strain probiotic with lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains. You'll see them on the side of the bottle. Um, also prebiotic fibers like inulin or galacto-oligosaccharides, um, vitamin D. Um, they work synergistically with gut bacteria for calcium absorption. Now, I want to set realistic expectations. The research shows that meaningful changes in gut microbiome diversity can happen pretty quick within two to four weeks of dietary changes. But bone density improvements, as you know, takes a longer time, typically six to 12 months. And this is because bone remodeling is a slow process. However, hopefully you'll notice other benefits much sooner better digestion, improved energy, reduced inflammatory markers, reduced inflammation, all of these things can start to occur within weeks. Before I wrap up, I want to emphasize that this approach should complement and not replace your current bone health strategy. Continue working with your healthcare provider, maintain your calcium and vitamin D intake, keep up with the strength training and weight-bearing exercise, of course, Think of gut health optimization as a powerful addition to your bone health toolkit. The connection between your gut health and your bone density represents an exciting frontier in bone health research. And by nurturing your gut microbiome with diverse nutrient-dense foods and healthy lifestyle practices, you're not just supporting your digestive health, you're potentially giving your bones the support they need to stay strong and resilient. Be patient with yourself. Remember, small, consistent changes can lead to significant improvements over time. Start with one or two strategies that feel manageable and gradually build from there. I'd love to hear about your journey with gut health and bone density. Leave a comment below 
sharing which strategy you're most excited to try. If you want to learn more about nutrition and bone health, I've assembled a playlist of videos you can find right here. And remember, you have more control over your bone health than you might think. And it starts with your gut. Until next time, stay focused on your journey of building your strong, healthy bones.